Hello and welcome to this video. This is Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add GIFs to customizable buttons on the Elgato Stream Deck. So on the Elgato Stream Deck, they're really, really cool. They've enabled GIFs to be uh, kind of resizable. And what that means is that you can have animations on your Elgato Stream Deck buttons. It's a really cool extra thing that they've got because it means that you can make it way more aesthetically pleasing uh, and just a lot cooler, to be honest. Um, there's absolutely no function to having uh, a GIF instead of an image, uh, other than the fact that it's just kind of cool looking. So uh, within this very short video, I'll show you how you can add a GIF to the buttons. I've done loads of videos on Elgato Stream Decks and streaming in general, uh, particularly Streamlabs. So if you want to check out my other playlist, please, please feel free to do so. If you find this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It really does help the video and I appreciate it a lot. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And of course, you can check me out daily at uh, twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana if you want to see some of these in action on my stream. Without further ado, we'll get into it. So first of all, I have actually done separate videos on how you can customize the keys with a static image and also how you can customize the keys with a kind of multi-button image, uh, like a wallpaper. Uh, in this case, this is my logo that spans all these wallpapers. These are actually uh, simple hotkeys. Uh, with no assigned hotkey, uh, they're simply, they've got an image uh, attached to them. And this particular button here, uh, this hand here, is the folder button, which allows me to drop into my main folders. So feel free to check out those videos in my Elgato Stream Deck playlist. If you want to add a GIF to your buttons, it's really, really dead simple. Uh, you simply go into a button, the desired button that you want it to work on. You left click the button, and then you simply set it as a hotkey. You drag it over. Now you can also set it as a folder as well. Either one will work. You can technically have it as virtually any single button to customize, but if it's purely an aesthetic reason for having the GIF, then you want to make sure it's a hotkey or a folder. If you want to have a GIF over a, bunch, a button that has a function, you can easily customize that as well. It doesn't really matter. Then all you have to do is simply left click on the button, uh, be that in this case, the hotkey or in this case, the folder, you click the down arrow here and you set from file and then you select the file uh, that you actually want to add there. Now, just very briefly, I'm going to show how you can take uh, GIF files from the Internet and uh, kind of I'm not going to go into de depth about how you can edit them, but at least how you can save them to a usable file. This is really for the absolute beginners that have got no experience in uh, kind of saving GIF files or searching for them. But just to demonstrate very quickly, all you really have to do for adding that file now is selecting the file that you have. In this case, I've got the Mario GIF. I'm going to actually open this just to show you what that looks like. So anyone that's played the, the NES would have recognized that uh, that Mario, but maybe the, the newer people around here may not have ever seen that Mario. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to select that, that GIF file here. I'm going to open that. Now that GIF file basically has a transparent background, which on the Elgato Stream Deck is set to black. Now that doesn't look like a GIF file, but I will put a video up here of what that actually looks like on my Stream Deck. And that's it, literally, that's it. You can also give it a title if you want, text title. And that will also show. You can drop the second word down by pressing enter. Um, and the GIF will play underneath the uh, title. Um, most people probably won't have that. And that's literally it for adding the GIF. That will literally work now uh, as is. So just to show how you'd go about saving the GIF images to your file, you can do a Google search for, uh, there are a few different GIF providers out there, like uh, I think it's Imagru, uh, Giffy Cat, uh, this one here. Um, there's also Tenor is quite a good one as well. Um, so there's a few different ones you can go for, but I wouldn't recommend going for any of those. I'd actually recommend just doing a Google search, for example, Mario uh, GIF. Do a straightforward GIF search. Then what you want to do is click on images within Google. And then within the tools section, there's a drop down here, which allows you to go onto the type and you can search for GIF here. This essentially allows you to search virtually all of the GIFs that are out there, not just the ones that are limited to the providers that I mentioned earlier. And let's just take a look at an example of this. This is a different Mario one. The transparency here is there. I can see because it's a white image here, but it's showing up as the alpha squares behind. So I know that that's a transparent one, but it doesn't have to be a transparent one. You may want one, for example, that is <laughs> that has a background like that. Uh, all, you, all you need to do here is right click and save image as. 
I'll stick this on the desktop. And now if I want to, I can change this image. I can simply set that from the desktop here, Mario GIF, open. And that will then set that as well. And just to show what that looks like again, I'll also place a video here so you can see in more detail what that looks like on the actual Stream Deck. It's pretty cool. So there you have it. That's how you can set customizable GIFs to the buttons on your Elgato Stream Deck. And that includes both transparent GIFs and also ones with a background. Uh, really, really dead simple to do. Uh, also showing you how you can search for them and save those files to your PC. If you found this useful, again, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Check me out on twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and have a lovely day.